Okay, so let's return this silver bell, because I, I found it for the guy. So from now on, when you talk to this guy, uh, he'll let you rest, and you'll fully heal. He also gave us a power ring. When you have the power ring on, uh, you get a little bit more offensive power. So you get a little boost to your strength. Uh, you can also switch to, between the shield ring and the power ring on the fly. And instead of walking all the way back to Minea, I'm just going to take the wing. Of course, once you use the wing, um, you know, you consume it, so now I've got to buy a new one. But first things first, uh, the important thing, i got to sell the ruby and the necklace. So right now I want to get some new equipment. I want to get the next level shield and armor uh, for a little bit more defense. And the two of them together are going to cost 4,000 gold. I didn't have 4,000 gold, but the necklace and the ruby will give me just enough that I can buy that. And still have enough to get a new wing. So, now that I've sold everything to Pim, and I have the money, let, let, let's buy the, the armor. There we go. Oh, hey, there's there's Dr. Klaus. So the reason I want better equipment is because the monsters in the next part of the dungeon are a little bit tougher. Uh, so this extra equipment is going to help. And Dr. Klaus, like you got, man, this guy is fast. All right, so when you use the wing, you go back to Minea, but you can't really fast travel anywhere else from there. You have to walk back, so I'm going to skip that and go right back to the shrine. So, you know what? There's really nothing else to do up here, so I'm just going to go right down to the bottom floor. I know I said in the last video that I'm being cautious when I walk around slow like that, but I don't know why I'm doing it so much. Like, I don't know why I'm being such a wussy boy. Especially now that I'm better equipped. Here we are, we're at the lower floor. New new monsters. For some reason I thought this guy would only take one hit, but he doesn't take only one hit. At least not at the moment. So the first thing I want to do is come over here and open this chest because we need this key. It's a little important. Well, I don't need to go up that way anyway, so fine, monster, have your way. 
So there's a chest there, but this is a dead end, so I wonder how I get to that. Probably the same way I got in here in the first place. Those golden statues are kind of suspect. So the way I want to go is straight down. So I'm going to have to attack this monster. Hopefully without losing any health if I attack him right. You always want to attack him right. You don't want to lose any health. So these lion guys are kind of annoying. At the moment they'll do a good bit of damage to me like that. And I'm trying to avoid that from happening too much. Um, he's not really affording me many opportunities to attack him though. He takes a few hits to beat. And now the giant head wants some of the action, but I'll, I'll give him some of that action because um, I'm not too scared of him. There's a gold statue there, but there's another gold statue a little further on and I want to touch that one and get teleported by that one first because that one leads to kind of a dead end. Whereas the one we just passed, um, you know, leads to more places. I say kind of a dead end, but that's kind of a weird way to put it. Um, it's not really so much a dead end, just like there's only one other way I can go from here. Now just take me back to where I started. But I want to come here because it's important. There is a chest here, and I kind of need what's in that chest. It's a new shield. I just bought a new shield. Man. I guess I'll equip it. Like, whatever. Whoa. And it's like the second best shield in the game. Like, this early on. Alright. I'll take it. Well, I mean, just because I have the second best shield in the game doesn't mean, like, I want to get all cocky and just take that lion guy head on. So this is the only other way I can go at the moment. This, this, this lion doesn't want to let me pass, but, um, I mean, whatever. I'll pass anyway. At the moment, these guys are real tough. I've got the shield ring on, so I'm not getting any kind of bonus to strength. And it takes quite a few hits to beat him. Also, this is a heal potion. Uh, the heal potions you can get from the doctors, too, if you tell them that you want medicine. But, um, you know, that costs money. I don't want to spend money. So, I mean, this is kind of a dead end. I can't really go anywhere, but if you look real close at this wall, it kind of looks like there's a shadow of a doorway there. The trick is to use the Mask of Eyes, and that'll reveal hidden paths at the cost of not being able to see living things. But, um, there's also an enemy right there, so what I'm going to do is just equip it real quick and then unequip it, and I wanted to equip the potion, but um, I didn't because I pressed the wrong button. And now I'm equipping the potion, but it, it, it's... It's, it's too late. I gotta go through the path. There we go. So I can touch that statue, but um, I don't want to go there just yet because there's some more stuff to find. And right there is exactly why I wanted to equip the potion. I was already at half health, but that guy took me down so much more. Uh, the reason for that is because... I, I, I approached him the right way, but at some point, I guess our hitboxes did something silly with each other, and, um, well, I ended up getting hit a lot by him. Now, the reason I'm going back and forth with this guy is because with these really tight corridors, you don't have to be exact when you're going in them. Like, the game will basically funnel Adol into these corridors, so, like, even if you're slightly off-center, it'll still push you through like that. And I don't want to get pushed through like that because then I'll be attacking this guy head on and I'll be taking damage. I'd rather not take damage if I can help it. And there we go. 
Hi, lion guy. I, I can run against the wall too. So, now I've got two keys, and I've got that shield. I would say we're pretty much done here. So, the next thing I'm going to do, because these guys give so much experience, is I'm going to grind to level 7. Uh, simply because I can. Uh, these guys give me enough experience that I should only have to beat two more of them to do that, so it won't take very long. The reason I want to grind to level 7, uh, just to be safe anyway. Okay, three more. Uh, the reason I want to grind level 7, just to be safe anyway, is because right after this we're going to be going up against a boss. I don't think I really have to grind to level 7, but since I'm so close, I may as well. I really like the little effect for running on the water here. Like, Otto looks like... He, he looks like he's a jet ski. Well, this seems kind of familiar. So this boss is going to follow you in basically a straight line, although it's not very good at it. Uh, basically, you don't want to touch anything that is its head. You want to touch anything that isn't the head. So attack the segments of the body, and that's really all you got to do. If you get hit by him, he's going to run straight into you, and he's going to eat your health. So just run in a circle, and you'll be fine. And just like kind of narrow the angle when you think you have a good chance to hit him. And just continue that until he's dead, and that's pretty much it. It's a really simple boss fight, but he's only the second boss. They're going to get a little bit harder from here on out, but this one's, like, really easy. Like, this is really all you got to do. Oh, hey, this is what we're here for. So, I mean, like, it's a book, so I guess I may as well, like, read it. I mean, like, why not? Rats. Well, I should have guessed. So, I mean, like, you know, whatever. I guess I'll go take it back to the lady who told me to get it. 